Welcome to the Monday Morning Hangover, where I recap the big stories and strange moments from Sundays. Or heck, it's a Monday NFL review column. You don't need a GPS to figure it out. A farewell to flags, the first Sunday of the NFL season was supposed to feature more flags than a Veterans Day parade. It didn't quite happen that way. As every fan knows, the NFL clarified the defensive holding and illegal contact rules in the offseason. The clarification appeared to involve telling defenders that everything that made them successful has been forbidden, making their jobs impossible. Referees called 173 defensive holding penalties and 105 illegal contact penalties in four preseason weeks, plus the Hall of Fame game. Add 63 defensive pass interference penalties, and the average team committed 2.6 variations on violating a receiver's right to waltz unfettered across wide open spaces per game, a historically high average. So we expected every week one scoring drive to be marred by some miscarriage of justice, a thrilling strip sack on 3 RD and 18 transformed into 5 yards and a first down because a safety got as close to a receiver as tennis players get when they both rush the net, perhaps. We braced for the latest update of the NFL's invasive officiating software, which fixes tiny bugs by brooking the whole system.